soon as you join his team, that's what he first does. He makes you feel like we're a big family. We know we get along very well like brothers. He takes care of me when I need it. He looks after me, he makes sure I have whatever I need. It's just like, it's just like we're born together. It feels like we've been there for, we've been together since like day one. What I appreciate about Bell is the emphasis on the ABCs, you know, burn style ABCs, which is academics, basketball, and community. It's high school sports. So you're gonna you're gonna win. You're gonna have some great seasons. You're gonna have some not so great seasons. At the end of the day, uh, it's about creating memories and creating a sense of community and family and belonging. We didn't have the mindset that we were number one. We thought we. We had the mindset like, oh, we're number five or something, you know? We just thought like that we shouldn't like get over our heads and just play everyone to, like as hard as, play every team the same, just as hard as we can. We knew something that Bell says a lot is don't get complacent. And uh, that's really how we felt going into it because we're, at, we're number one, we're above everyone else. Uh, we can't let that get to our heads. And yeah, like games, I think, the game against Tupper, I think we were down a bit, but uh, we pulled it together, and that's the whole idea of don't get complacent just because we're number one. Uh, I say the first half we weren't like the ball was moving as well, and we weren't just playing as hard. It wasn't really what he said. We had to find it in ourselves. Like we were playing lazy, we weren't playing with energy at all. Our bench was not in it. We all just told each other like we have to stop being a bunch of <laughs> just just play, you know, have fun, and that's what we did. It just sort of clicked that like we're not gonna lose at this point in in provincials because this isn't what we came here to do. They came back out in the second half and uh, you had guys that really stepped up and they they all wanted it though, right? Like uh, we all really banded together this year and uh, really made it uh, more about being part of a family and a group. Mm -hmm. And those guys all bought in. And when you have those kids buying in, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. We, we've played them before and we had beat them before and we knew they were going to come for us and so we just knew we had to be extra sharp that game. We had some main focuses like that guy too mm -hmm. but we also have to worry about the other players too but we're main focus were on the, their main players. As soon as we locked them down like we put Martin and like Bethel and, and people like, like Sufi on them then after that it was, it, I wouldn't say easy but it was a little less challenging because we were locking them up. One, one of the things that we wanted to reiterate was uh, that Tupper and North Delta were very good teams, but they were young, and their their core group was grade 11s, and so our core group was grade 12s. So we needed to lean on our experience to beat to beat those teams that were younger than us, and I think that that played a big factor in, in those wins. I mean, I've been there before, so it's just, it's like you feel this rush in you and like, after the whistle blows though, like first tip off, everything goes away. You don't pay attention about the, the crowd or like the atmosphere. You just play basketball. Um, my last name is White Bear and everyone just, just calls me like T-Bear, Grizzly, stuff like that. There's no way of joking around with me because like, you know, we have that, that family yeah. feeling with us. The guy from Kamloops, they're, they're big guy, yeah. they had a bear tattoo and he's yeah. like, <laughs> they all look at me like, there's only one bear here, shoot who, who yeah. it is. <laughs> it, was, it was funny though. I love these guys, they're, they're like brothers to me. Well, that game, there was a, a battle. We, we really wanted that game because uh, we wanted to get them back for last year and stuff as well. some uh, 
bold moves by leaving one of their players open a little bit more, giving him more of the emphasis to be the hero. We knew we were always in the game and we always had the opportunity because we have guys that can shoot the ball, Martin uh, and Betho, like, and Sufi, like all these guys can shoot the ball and when they're on, they're on. So I don't think we were ever really worried. It was just the fact that we just needed one extra run and stuff. And I think that's kind of, we just didn't get that last bit of a run. Yeah, I, you know, I thought about that game and you think about March Madness and one, it's one and done. And, and what a seven game series with South Cam would look like, I think would go seven and it would probably be wire to wire every game. Uh, at least I'd like to think so, right? From a fan's perspective, I think that's what a championship game should look like. From a coach's perspective, you obviously wish it, it turned out a little bit differently. So, but nothing but respect to any of the teams we played uh, through that provincial run. The neighborhood around here is tough. I mean, there's a lot of older guys hanging around in the streets, like, you know, just doing bad things. And younger guys just want to follow. So, I mean, the younger guys who are playing basketball, they find it as a way to, like, escape those guys. You know, our goals maybe are, are more about growing our alumni game, uh, growing a sense of connection to our alumni, to the program. Um, providing more opportunity for our students. Um, that's it, if we do that, I'll be happy. And, and if that means we win a provincial on the way or we never win another tournament again, then so be it. But I think the sense of community uh, is really at the crux of what we're doing. And we do it because we love it, right? And we love this community. We love being here. Um, we connect to these, to these students. And, you know, so for us, it's more about Let's grow this sense of belonging to Burn Creek basketball and uh, and Burn Creek in general, and and grow it in that sense, and so that our alumni feel connected to the current season, whatever year that may be. I mean, I think that it would be fantastic to um, obviously to to win you know a championship, but th that would be the I guess not the goal, but a, but a, a result of that. I think if we have a, a team that has a focus on bringing up the community to of being involved in in creating a legacy of of this is what it means to be a bulldog you know you are active you are a, a proud member of this of this neighborhood and you make a difference both on the court and in the classroom and on the streets they look down at us because like we're having so much fun and these guys are like just there to play basketball but we're there to like it's a life cycle it's a lifestyle we build it and we make such friendship within our uh, basketball team that it's like family. Like, it's not like, oh, there's one person, it's everybody together.